Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. It's Sunday. Well, it's the second Sunday, which matters because it's time for Dungeons & Dragons. We've got yet another session. According to uh, Dungeon Master Will, this is going to be the penultimate session of this Waterdeep Dragon Heist campaign. Uh, let's go around the horn real quick. Josh, how's it going? It's going good. I'm uh, excited to see what our uh, little band is going to get up to today. Okay, can you uh, mute yourself in OBS Ninja? I think we're going to have oh, a yeah, bit of an error. Uh, Will, how's it going? You know, it's going pretty good. I'm excited for what our little band is going to do today, today's session. That's like a very foreboding statement, isn't it? <laughs> That's just terrifying, quite frankly. You're foreboding. You're foreboding. Um, and then Karen. Karen will be joining us shortly, I suppose. Uh, yes. She's just finishing up uh, her, uh, her cooking. Um, so, yeah. So, we can... Okay. We can Last session, which was three weeks ago, um, you know, there was a lot of things that happened, but long story short, there was a terrorist attack in Waterdeep Dragons. I don't feel comfortable saying the word terrorist in Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> to be honest. They were you. trying to kidnap the Waterdeep governor. Yes. Uh, it's, there, it's called a scary attack from now on. There was uh, a scarerist attack in Waterdeep uh, right near our tavern that we own. Um, and quite frankly, we went into like detective badass mode and we just tracked down the culprits. Uh, we found out it was tied to some rich people. And long story short, we've got some clues as to where the dragon's hoard of gold is. The fabled mass of wealth. Um, I think that's kind of where we are today. Will, I, I know you've already said one foreboding statement. This is the penultimate session, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, how's today's session going to go? It's going to go good. So just um, you did a little recap there. Um, the very last thing that happened is you guys were at the Grunhild Manor, I mm -hmm. think it was called. And you found Josh found a note on one of the snakes that said, um, I believe it was like package on way to Thrakis, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so you guys are still hunting that nimble right that the That's other right. nimble right built right. <clears throat> so the hunt is on and you are of course looking for the stone of galore uh which is rumored to be how you get the location of the vault mm -hmm. gotcha gotcha so um current goals for you guys in case you forgot is basically what i said tr yeah. track down the stone of galore Right now, you know this nimble right has it and is supposedly on its way to Thrakus. Okay. And I'm just trying to remember. I thought we had an idea of where Thrakus was. Um. Let me hear. Hi. Hi. Why, why did I? Why am um, I hearing myself again? I think it might be through Karen's. Oh no! Sorry, I think that's through me. Um, oh, I was okay. just testing the stream. No, that's um, fine. It's just yeah, so Josh had a question where we may know a rough direction yes. where Thrakis is. Uh, let me uh, let me not, start we... reading the book so I know yeah. everything. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, let me just check because that's the beginning mm -hmm. of this chapter. Uh, and I think I told you guys last time. Um, while Will's reading, Karen, how's it going? Uh, it's going well. I was uh, started making my meal prep, which I'm making chili con carne. Oh. Uh, so that's, that's why exciting. it took a couple minutes till I got here. Oh, that's all right. Um, uh, yeah, I think, okay. I think you didn't miss much. All we did was just do our recap. I think we're almost ready to go. Gotcha. Um, you know that Thrakis is a dragonborn butcher in the field ward. Butcher. The butcher. The butcher. The said dragonborn butcher. Oh, you know what? Sorry, does that mean um, he is a dragonborn or he butchers dragonborns? Or is it both? both? Uh, he <laughs> is a dragonborn. <laughs> According to my thing, he butchers dead bodies. Of dragonborns. Got it. Well, if they happen to kill dragonborn, I would think. So okay. he's not an actual butcher. Is this like a nickname? Yes. He is... No, no. He is an actual butcher. But oh, he okay. works for a gang. 
So oh, I think he, he on cuts the up side dragonborn cuts bodies. Up bodies. Yes, it. specifically only the dragonborn body. You know, it's weird that in a in a game of magic that you still have to hide bodies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you just make them invisible, you'll still trip over them. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, Karen mentioned to me before all this that she would like to buy new weapons. So, um, I think Lazary might have to bring that up with the group, though. Yes. Uh, where did we leave off? Like, where? What location were we? I think you guys went back to the manor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably. Uh, group. I know. I'm in dire need of stitches. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to spend the rest of the day like resting and stuff, and then Karen can go out, Lazary can go out shopping. <laughs> yeah, no shopping. We, shopping. we pick it up tomorrow. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Lazary, if you want, so on that player's handbook you got there in chapter five, there should be. So there's the Steam and Steel, which is in Troll Skull Alley, run by uh, Water Genasi named Avi. Uh, sorry, a Fire Genasi named Embrick and a Water Genasi named Avi. They are a married couple. That's adorable. Um, and so chapter five in the player's handbook is a list of weapons, armor, and shields that they have. Okay. If you want to check that and let me know what you want to get. Uh, you two other boys want to do anything? Um, I'm just checking my money and such. I think I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm also too. Oh, hey, just cool. just uh, to fill some time. It, it's been a couple months since we owned the tavern. What's How much money have we put in our own pockets from that? Oh, you know what? I can probably uh, tell you that. I think we started in like winter, so I think it's been like what three months, something like that. Yes. Yeah, so, so three months. So that's three months is three times four, twelve, ten days. So and and we split. We split half of it with the guy who runs it, right? Yes. Oh, man. So this says roll a d100 plus 10 and consult the running a business table in chapter 6 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Oh, <laughs> boy. That sounds like Good fun. Thing I... right, let me check. Chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Between Adventures. I would like to purchase a battle axe. Ooh. I'm right here. Um... How much is a battle axe? It is 10 gold pieces. Okay. Purchase. Cha-ching. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. I'm a woman. Oh. Thank you, my lady. Flames really threw it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, here's running a business. Okay, uh... One hundred. That's a lot. Okay, you guys were profitable. The business covers its own maintenance costs for each of these days. It earns a profit of one d six times five. So one d six. Oh, I don't know if that actually worked. 20, and then what's 20 times 12? 240. It's me just talking. 240? 40. So you guys made 2,400 gold pieces. And then we split that, so that's 1,200. 1,200, and then split a bunch of you, so that's 400 each? 400 each. Congratulations, guys. You just made a bunch of gold before you go and get a bunch of gold. <laughs> of course, I'm only salaried. <laughs> oh, yeah. My my half goes to Rotac. Yeah. 
I get five gold a day. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, um, Karen, uh, Lazarus, that's all you're buying, right? Um. Do they sell armor there as well, or just what? Uh, yeah, it it should be in the same table. If there's armor there. Should be like an armor table or something. Oh, I forgot to play music during this part. Sorry. Music. Uh, I think I'm okay for right now. Okay, cool. So, um, you guys are on... What do you guys want to do? What are we doing? I say what let's go talk to this uh, butcher boy. Mm -hmm. Go talk mm. to the butcher boy. So, oh, butcher boy. you guys head out of Troll Skull Manor into Troll Skull mm -hmm. Alley. There are rebuilding efforts, stuff's getting fixed. But it is also... You know when you forget a word? No. Right before you gotta say it. Oh yeah, what's that called? Um, forgetting a word right before you say it. Deja uh, vu, pretty sure. No, it's uh. It's it's vu it's not deja vu. It, no. I was making a I was making a stupid joke. No, it is called it's de, it deja vu is is uh, seeing something, but it's, am, it's a deja something is uh tip out your tongue. Ah, there we go. Troll tide. It is troll tide. It is a holiday in Waterdeep. Uh, it's a day commemorating Waterdeep's victory in the Second Troll War. So, use that information as much as you want. But people run around through the city, uh, especially children wearing troll masks. It's basically kind of like Halloween. Um, yeah, it's, it's essentially Halloween. That's uh, Liar's Night. So, what did you call me? Liar's Hello. Night. Hi. Oh yeah, there is a, a yeah, that's cool. Um, so kids are dressed up as trolls. They go around getting candy and fruits and small items. So, anyways, very noisy uh, time of day. Uh, it's about the afternoon now, so there's tons of people in the markets. Even the alleys full, uh, people running around um, mm -hmm. and celebrating. Anyway, so you guys are heading over to. Thrakus's butchery, and on your way, yes. Those of you with higher perception, like Daladar, you notice huddled, some people huddled around a mass in a corner of an a of one of the alleys, um, and it seems odd to you. Uh, yeah, I'll kind of pull everyone's attention over there, and I'll try to move into the crowds that like blend into the crowd and see what's going on. What's going on over okay. there? So oh. you guys kind of move over and you look through the people and there's um, a nimble right broken uh, the one you were chasing kind of like sputtering and he's trying to like smack away all the people who are near him but he clearly can't move or really do anything. Stay back! Um, is he, does he have a necklace on him? Um, no, he does not have a necklace on him. Okay. I just want to make sure we weren't about to be in that situation with a group of people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, help, I'll help Bofus kind of get everyone back away from him. Okay, yeah. so the cloud kind of disperses and seeing you guys not like more of an authority, people kind of like disappear and like, oh, they'll handle it sort of thing. It's just a Oil uh, drunk, nimble, right? Quick, okay, quick. Um, the Stone of Galore. I'm trying to remember. What, did the lady give it to to this nimble right, and he took off with it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So then I go, where is it? Where is the stone? Uh, and so it kind of looks up at you, and like, puts its hands on its head and spins it, and like snaps its own neck, and then it's. <laughs> <laughs> hand falls down and you notice in its like side pocket a, like a piece of paper sticking out <gasps> okay I pull it out what does it say so you pull it out and it 
it's a, a map of Waterdeep, and it has a uh, trail going to Thrakis, uh, where his uh, butchery is, but it's crossed out, and there's another trail that leads to uh, the Mist Shore. Mm. With an X on that that says... Um, let me check this thing's name. I literally hate this chapter. Uh, it says Grinda Garloth. What do you suppose we do, folks? Um, can I just ask some questions about that note or that map then? The um, so does it look like it was made up and then crossed out later by a different person or by the same person? Or can you tell? Um, it looks like by a different person. The original one was crossed out. And is there any way to recognize the handwriting from anything we've seen before? Um, you recognize the original, like, uh, Thrakis stuff as the Grillhund lady's handwriting, mm -hmm. since she wrote that other note. Um, and it looks like someone hastily drew over it and then drew a new, like, someone intercepted it and changed it. Okay. But is this... Where the where we found him is he on the way to Thrakus or is he on the way to the new, uh, new person? Uh, it looked like he was on his way to the new person. Okay. Because uh, he was he's not he's in the other direction of where you guys were walking. Right. I'm gonna be honest with you, folks. I don't know which way we go. I don't know if this new path is the correct one, or if it's well, a trap. Wherever he was going, he did. Uh, he obviously didn't get there. I'm thinking he was ambushed by somebody and they took the stone. Aye. Yeah, it might be dangerous to follow him. Aye, so I see your point. So you're thinking whatever he was I taking don't... the stone, it won't be there now. Right, so it might be with Rackus, if anybody, if, or it might be by a third party. Aye, I say we go with Rackus, and if we get no leads there, then we head to the new spot. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to continue. Okay. So, you guys head to Thrakus. Uh, he is hiding out. Um, he's got a little butchery in the field ward. Mm -hmm. um, so you arrive at his door. Um, not much action going on here because it's more of like a warehousey district, not a celebratory district. Um, but doors closed, shades are drawn. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's there. Well, folks, how do you want to do this? You want to sneak and fight, or you want to try and talk some sense into this man? Could uh, do a quick run around the perimeter and see if we can see anything inside, and then, depending on what we see, we can just go in and say hello. Uh, yeah, like we don't that. want to just rush in on an attack, so yeah, let's investigate a little bit first. Okay. Um, so I think I want to... I wanna like stealth around the building real quick just to see if I could see anything, peek through some windows, etc. Yeah, so um, there's no windows <clears throat> on the side of the warehouse, just on the big one on the front that mm -hmm. says like Thrakis' butchery. Um, it's weird because it, it's it by every indication it should be open. Everywhere else is open. It's just not. Mm -hmm. But you don't. The back door is locked. Uh, windows are too high up around the sides to like look in can i tell if this um, is um like a one room location or is it big with multiple rooms uh you can tell it's, it's probably got like a front area where people order things and then a back area where he processes the meat okay would it be possible to go to a nearby rooftop to get on top of a nearby building and then jump over to this building and then try to look in the windows um yeah, not not really without anyone noticing you though. What if I tried to be stealthy while doing it? If you tried, to, you could try to be stealthy while doing it. If you'd like to do that, just to kind of peer in the windows, not to try to break in, but yeah, yeah. I just want to do that to just try to look inside. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so give me uh, athletics to get on the roof of a nearby building. All right. And also, then a stealth check to see if you did it and then anyone knows. 
Oh, I didn't get on the building. <laughs> Did anyone notice? Did anyone notice? 16. You know, nobody noticed you, but you just <laughs> fell right off the building. It's like you yeah. put your foot up on it and then slipped forward. Mm -hmm. Right, but it did a backflip while doing it and landed yeah. in the mud. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> uh, so just a uh, quick party check. We we still don't have any uh, thieves tools, right? Um, I don't think I do. Mm -hmm. I be... Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna say. Um, all right, oh no, I do. You do? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we maybe we try the back door. Open it, sneak through that way. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So yeah, we want to go around back and try to pick open that back door. Okay. So you guys, there's no trouble going around to the back, um, and then I just do a uh, what is it? A stealth roll for? Sleight of, I think sleight of hand or? Yeah, I think it's just yeah, sleight, sleight, sleight of hand. hand. Yeah, sleight of hand's good. Thirteen. Okay, so you put the things in the thing, and it unlocks. Little click, and uh, the door's now unlocked. Um, I want to ready my crossbow, assuming that we're going to open the door soon. Okay. And I say, I don't think we shoot anybody unless we have to. At the same time, if we go in there guns blazing, they're probably going to reciprocate. I, I'm, I'm going to threaten, but I'm not, probably not going to shoot. Alright. Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess we'll walk in and see what we can see. Okay, stealth so Stealth in? Stealth in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If... Okay, so you, you what, you sl slowly creaking the door open? Mm hmm So, as soon as the breach clears on that door... You guys are immediately hit with a thick smell of like fresh blood, like pungent, Oof. pungent smell, and a little bit of rot. Um, and as you open the door the rest of the way, you're at first like, "Oh yeah, it's a butchery." Stuff smells, and then you just notice just bodies everywhere hmm. of apparently <gasps> Zentarum people, which are the not the beholder, the other right. guys. And, um, yeah, there's just mutilated corpses, dead people everywhere. Do we um, hear any oh, movement I... inside? Um, not from what you can hear. No movement. I, I want to do, like, a quick sweep, at least of the back room, to make sure there's nobody else there. Okay, so you do a quick sweep of the back room. It's just massive amounts of blood going through the drains. Not much actual, like butchery stuff like animal and everything okay um can i check out the bodies and see like were they uh did they arrive dead or were they killed on the spot or what the condition of the bodies um they looked like they were all there was a big fight and they all died here okay um and on the wall in blood it just says xanathar uh xanathar's revenge which is the beholder. Yep. So it looks this like... This is some serious stuff. It looks like we're in the middle of a gang war, but I guess the question is, does it involve our stone or not? I think everything we've seen up to now has to be about the Dragon Horde. I think both factions are vying for it. Aye. Right. So maybe we search this place and then head for the beholder? Or should we check the other place? Um, what was the name of the person of the other place? Uh, it was Grinda Garloth. And do we know if she has any, do we know anything about her if she has any allegiances? Um, you know Grinda Gar Garloth is, um, she is, oh, I had it somewhere. she is a, uh, like, eccentric mage wizard, uh, and she owns a giant machine that she dives into the harbor with to collect gold and like sunken treasures um yes no, no underworld affiliations that we know of 
Not that you know of. Okay. She, uh, she's a Luskin. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I say we do a quick search of this place and then maybe just quickly head over there to see what the story was maybe with just quickly head over why there. this thing was delivering to her. Aye. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you guys do a quick search of the rest of this place. You don't find anything of value. Just more dead bodies. Um, looks like it happened very recently. Uh, probably the same group that intercepted the nimble right probably had just come from here. Mm. Um, uh, any dragonborns? Uh, yeah, you see what you assume is Thrakus in pieces. Um, what you got butched? What you got butched? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The uh, the ambient music is a bit too cheery for this no, it's perfect. scene. <laughs> perfect, yeah. Well, folks, so, what do you what do you say we do? We've got we've got two leads. We can head towards the uh, the beholder and his gang, or we can check out the other folk. I think the beholder is where we need to go, but I also am just extremely curious as to why this uh, this automaton was bringing the stone to her. Aye. Perhaps we should go check her out first, because I I get a feeling that. Uh, we head for the beholder. It could be a while before we finish that lead out. Mm. And any okay. information we get, we get going into there would be helpful. Aye. So you guys are heading to the Mist Shore. Mm-hmm. Please stop this music. Okay. Um. You guys can see stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, needs to get fired. This is the best map we can find for this. But uh, this over here where my mouse is, that's her house. So you guys are right out front. Um, okay. And so as you arrive here, um, you see the little ramshackle cabin. Excuse me. Uh, and uh, Quick question. Is yes. that... Uh, is that a giant crab? Yeah, it's her um, apparatus of claw. Oh, her machine. Mm. Oh, wow. It is, um, here, I'll show you what it looks like if you look at my camera. Wow. Ba, 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 Isn't that ba. cool? Yeah. Um, ba, um. Uh, anyway, so you get there. Um, uh, yeah, it, everything looks normal. Perhaps we head inside and Talk with us, lady. Um, okay, so I think we walk inside. Yep. I yeah. I don't think we have to be on guard for this. Well, I mean, it's it's a store. It's like a store. Right. right. No, no, it's her house. Her house. Oh, oh okay. well, then we knock on the door. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you knock on the door, and uh, it kind of creaks open, and uh, a voice goes, "Who's there?" Hello, miss. We're just uh, friendly folk. We're doing a little bit of police business today, and uh, we have some questions for you. You don't look like City Watch. Well, we've been conscripted due to the recent crimes in the city. What crimes? The uh, scariest attack yesterday. It was quite scary. Oh, the, the fireball. It's how do you know about that? Excuse me, how do you know about that? How do you know what caused it? Quickly, get inside. And she, like, <laughs> opens the door. <laughs> and okay. you guys walk in. So she closes the door and she locks it, like, the 50 locks on the door. Mm-hmm. And she turns around and goes, What do you know of the Stone of Galore? I've heard that's awfully pretty. We know you were expecting it. I was expecting it. I already sent it on its way. <gasps> to where? Well, before you draw your swords... I was expecting it uh, from the Zentarum, but who ended up coming here was this nimble right who brought it to me, and he Aye. ran away afterwards. And then I was going to deliver it to Xanathar, but I had a change of heart. Well, change of wanting gold, not really heart. Change uh, of so so I gave it to my rat familiar, and he's 
bringing it to my mausole my family's mausoleum to hide it. Oh. Well, you think that might have been a uh, a mistake? I think you might be in danger at this point. And as you say that, you hear a boof, boof, boof on the front door, and a voice is like, "Grinda, we want the stone." And I, I looked at the others and I'm like, "Shh, shh, shh, shh." shh. Oh, yeah, we're, we're not here. Quickly, take my apparatus to the mausoleum. <gasps> what apparatus? <laughs> he yells out. <laughs> Compass. <laughs> the one in the other room. Can I'll we... be right there. <laughs> How do we uh, just, I think I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. What is that animal handling? How do we roll to like, how do we determine who would be better at driving that? I don't know. It's a giant metal crab submarine. It's whatever well, you want. She should drive it. We can, we can, I'll yeah, drive we'll it. Take her with us. Take her with us. We, oh, we take, her, take her with us? Well, she said she's going to stay here and hold them off. These men this will kill you. Old lady. No, not in a there's, no holding, there's no holding these no, people off. I don't I don't think you've seen what we've seen. These these men, they don't negotiate. How would she you says, like ended up okay, in pieces? I'm a mage, and she holds up two fireballs in her hands. Oh, yes. Sir. <laughs> Listen, to be honest with you, ma'am, we don't care about you. We only care about us, and we don't know how to work the machine. <laughs> and she says, it's okay. Just use your mind. Tell it where you want to go. Jesus, what and is She opens magic? a big metal hatch and pushes you guys inside and then closes it. Bye, side character. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your death. Um, uh, now she can do wheeled fireball. She's fine. Yeah. So you guys are inside this metal sarcophagus. Um, excuse me. And, excuse me. Uh, it starts humming to life, and there's a nice green glow. And um, who wants to think about uh, um, the mausoleum? Before I think, think about, about that, the mausoleum. Um, what animal is this again? I keep saying crab, but it's not a crab, right? It's a. What? It's like a giant. It looks kind of like a lot. I mean, it's a giant metal lobster. Oh, it doesn't tell you animal. exactly what it is. Well, it's I'll not a lobster. It's not. I don't think it's based off an animal. It just looks like an animal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a giant metal a machine. machine she built. Yeah. No, no, I understand. I was just, I just thought there may be an official animal that it was after. Maybe not. Okay. It says uh, her apparatus of qualish. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, Lazarus thinks of the mausoleum. Let's go, full speed. Okay, so you guys, as you go <laughs> away, uh, you hear loud explosions um, from outside and screaming men, male voices. Um, no female voices, because bandits are not female. Uh, so That's you sexist. start going away. Um, yeah, inappropriate. <laughs> The hum of the water. Your heads explode because you go so deep in the water. No. Uh, <laughs> End. Um, so you travel for maybe about 20 minutes before you can tell it's up out of the water and starting to walk on land. And then there's a slight hiss as it kneels down and the hatch pops open. What do we I see? think we're here. That was quick. Oh, I yeah. Why did she make it walk sideways, though? <laughs> okay, but listen to me. What if we take this to the beholder and really mess him up? <laughs> uh, what do we Does this thing have weapon capabilities? Um, I mean, it's got two giant claws on the front. Oh my god! That have steel blades on them. Oh, I think of one word: kill. <laughs> I run. <laughs> <laughs> the machine destroys all of you. Um, okay, so you guys fall out or get out of this thing. Um, I... And after you exit, the hatch closes and it march, marches slowly back into the water. Oh. Oh, goodbye. Bye. You're Sorry. my best friend. I gotta remove, that, uh, remove that plot thread, that plot item <laughs> away from Damn. you guys as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay, yeah. so you guys are outside of a graveyard. It's about a 10 foot wall surrounding this graveyard um it's maybe five or six in the evening now 
Um, yeah. Oh, we didn't ask the rat's name. We don't. Are, should we be scared here? Or uh, nobody knows of this lead, right? Except for us. Uh, unless they beat her up and she tells them. Aye, that's true. So we should probably hurry. Mm. Um, probably. Okay, so I, I'm assuming there's like a gate to the graveyard or something. Yeah, so if you walk around, there's a, a big old gate. Okay, I, big push, old gate. I push open the gate. It's locked. I <laughs> jump over the gate. It's like 12 feet high. It's 30 feet it's, high. Um, it's a thousand feet. Can we... Uh, I look at Daladar and I say, should we pick it or punch it? I I pick it, you punch it. Okay, you pick it, <laughs> and then maybe I'll punch it. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'll try to pick the lock. Okay, give me a give me a roll for that. Uh... Ten, punch it. Um, you punch it and it creaks in a little bit, but doesn't. Oh, but do I didn't. Anything. I didn't. Let me roll my punch. Oh, oh, sorry. You were saying punch it. Yeah, no, you unlock yeah, it. I was, I was, I was telling him to punch it. Oh, you unlock it for ten. Oh, I do. Yeah, I punch it, it anyways. Swings open. <laughs> <laughs> you punch it open. Punched it open. <laughs> it does I look at him and give him a little noise. clap. Um. So I. Okay. I, I look to them and I say. I don't know about you, but I think we're in a race for time. Maybe we just search for the mausoleum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys get into the graveyard. By the back, you see <clears throat> what, a couple different mausoleums, but you're able to pick out the uh, uh, Grinda's family one. Mm -hmm. uh, Does it have just a statue holding two fireballs? Their family crest? Yeah. It's just so when that says Garloth in big letters yeah. on, it says, how many in balls the front. do you want? <laughs> oh, and I say, I say, hold, uh, hold, hold. This is a mage. Maybe we should detect magic and see if there's any sort of curse or lock on this door to the mausoleum. That will also help us find the uh, the familiar. I, I just remembered, uh, Rothrak's not here, and he usually detects magic. Oh, you could do that. Uh, That's cool. Sounds like a cool, good, cool dude. Lazari, can you detect magic? <laughs> Uh, um, probably. Uh, it should be a spell, I think. Oh. Mm, no. Okay. Then I say, okay, does anybody feel like there's magic nearby? Will, can I roll for that? Can I roll just to be like, d d do I think it's magical? Uh, yeah, you can in a second. Uh, just let me... So as you guys approach the mausoleum, the doors are broken open in a hastily sort of way. Oh. Well, uh, and there seems to have been foot traffic. And there's a lot of, a lot of dirt and junk right outside the mausoleum. Wow. Is it being hopeful to ask if the foot traffic is from a mouse? Um, you can't really tell. Looks like a lot of different boots and stuff. Not, so not just mouse. Yeah. Okay. But also familiars, I don't think, would make footprint. Whatever. That's true. Also, I was hoping the mouse would have been able to open this door. Uh, true. Um, so let me open the door. Uh, I think we can abandon the detect magic plan, because I didn't know the door was already open. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Um, you guys get ahead of me. Okay, and I say, let's head in. We've got to catch whoever's here. I'm curious as to who could be here. Okay, so I walk up to the doorway and I peer through. Um, it is bone dry inside. Completely empty. There's footprints heading straight, uh, going down the stairs that kind of look a little muddy mm -hmm. or just like dry dirt. Um, but there's there's no one in this this first room. Okay, so I, I had I slowly head up the stairs. I'm I'm gonna stealth up the stairs. Uh, down down. I'm gonna stealth down the stairs. You stealth down those stairs. 
Um, you want to roll for me? Yes, that is You're a so 17. Stealthy. You stealthily stealth down those stairs. Heck yeah, I do. Okay, I'm down the stairs now. Um, okay. Um, it's just more crypts and coffins, some of them broken open, bones just missing. Um, there's more dirt that heads down. Okay, I want to keep. Uh, I want to keep following that dirt. Okay. Keep stealthing down that dirt. Yeah, you're good. I'm just looking for mice as we go. Okay. Okay, so you reach this corner. Uh, the dirt uh -huh. leads all the way down to the end of the hallway. There's a door at the end. Is the door closed? Um, the door is closed. Okay. No, it is open. Sorry. So I want to, I want to, I want to get them behind me, the others, and I want to be like, let's let's go, let's go burst through that doorway. Wait, you want to be stealthy first, and now you want to burst through the doorway? The door is open. There's no more stealth in after that. Ah. All right, you go for it. Okay. So I, I want to go all the way up to the doorway. I think the plan is all three of us are. Like just outside this doorway, and then we're just gonna rush through doorway. Okay, so you guys get there. The dirt culminates in that room. The coffin is thrown against the wall. There's no bones or anything. Um, but uh, Daladar, you notice sticking out of the dirt is a little silvery object. Uh, I'll. Pick it up and show it to the group and inspect it. What is that? Um, you see it's a shiny steel key. Oh. Uh, and it has the um, it has the initials EU stamped into it. But other than that, there's pretty much nothing here. It looks like some grave robbers got in here. Wait, wait, but, like, how old? How long ago? Like, within the past three hours. Uh, it might be too late. Um, does the key look like it was from the crypt, or like it was dropped here? It looked like it was dropped here. It was sticking out of the top of the fresh dirt. Still shiny. Mm -hmm. EU. Who could that stand for? Yeah, do we know an EU? Um, you guys do not know an EU. But you know that people usually mark their handiwork with initials. Oh, like someone who created the key? Yeah. Um, do I know... And this is silver? Uh, it's steel. It just steel. Shiny. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think... Would I know of any, like, blacksmith that is known for a fine work? Um, I mean, there's hundreds in yeah. Waterdeep, but you could probably ask a blacksmith and he could consult his guild book and let you know. Um, and then if we just take some time, can we search and make sure we don't, there's no, like, mouse yeah. or anything in here? Yeah. So uh, yeah. Um, I also want to look for, like, like, dust that has been disturbed. Sure. Um, so just just the bottom floor you're searching? Uh, well, I'm I think... doing the whole, yeah, whole yeah. thing. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bottom floor. Um, so you search for all this stuff. It looks like they took... There's some piles of bones in certain areas near dirt patches. Like, it looks like these people were undoing every coffin, putting it outside the room, and then someone else was like tying up the bones together, and then they would steal the bones. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like they didn't finish. Um, you got like halfway done and left. Um, you don't see the rat familiar anywhere. Um, and that key is really the only thing that of value you guys find here. Looks like uh, these grave robbers pretty much cleaned everything else out. I... Strange. Mm. So the grave... Were they not after the stone? 
Doesn't seem like it if they were after the bones. I guess they were just general grave robbers. But also, why steal bones? Necromancy. <clears throat> you could sell what? them, I suppose. Make a nice yeah, broth out of them. There are easier bones to find than those in a crypt. Aye, maybe human bones are a nice delicacy. Mm -hmm. Either way, if they're not after the stone, then that means they don't know what they've got. So perhaps we can find him. Right. The familiar might still be here. Aye. Well, let's keep looking. Um, yeah, let's go back up to the uh, second floor. Um, so as you guys descend the stairs up, um, for Duergar, is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. Uh, enter into the crypt. Um, and confronting you guys and standing in your way. What are they saying? Um, they're saying, give us the stone. Give Not us it. the stone. We know you have it. What stone? Who's the stone, stone of Galore. Don't play dumb with I've us. I've never heard of it before. Get out of our way. We're not leaving without the stone. Well, then it sounds like you're not leaving without a fight. <gasps> wow, that was awesome. Okay, you guys are fighting. Okay, I killed one of them. <laughs> I killed oh, the second one. You, know, you did that. Well, Lazarus, you take, take the last two. two. <laughs> I, I killed the last two. Oh, nice. man, you guys did it. Can we level up? Yeah. yeah. Um, We're level 20 now. You guys ah. can do whatever positioning here you, you want. Oh, okay. Uh, I already rolled okay, initiative, by the way. Positioning. Well, you're going to have to roll again. Oh, they're there? Yeah, I say we're just at the top of the stairs. Uh, what was your roll, Ian? Uh, 21. Yeah, sure. Well, it's in the chat, doofus. I like Bofus is calling everyone he doesn't like Doofus. <laughs> we'll be such a He's the only one I forgot to name. Gosh darn. Okay, um, I gotta do uh, some math real quick, so just pardon me. <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta adjust these names quick. I also made it so you guys can hover over them and see what their names are. Not all of them yet, but mm -hmm. two of them at least. Durgar. I'm trying oh, to. They still... are Durgar. Yeah. Yep. Little uh, stone skin dwarves. I always get them confused oh. with. Was it Draugr's from Skyrim? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I try to talk to talk them down before we start combat? Since uh, uh if you'd like to try, I know Ian. Since I'm a fellow Ian kind of said boo hoo, but if you want to try to talk them down? By all yeah. means. Listen, guys, we don't have to do this. I know my friend here is a little hot, but you guys just stand down and be on your way. We ain't leaving here without the stone. Well, I guess you ain't leaving here alive then. Boom. Begin oh. combat. Both is twice foot. You're up front. What are you doing? I look at him and I say, fine. Okay, you got us. And I reach in my pocket and I say, here's the stone. And I take off one of the pearls from the necklace of fireballs. And I throw oh. it right in the middle of them. I'm going to cast it real quick. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. That just casts a fireball, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a sec. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to... Where are all these people? Ca to cast. I guess I just cast it as fireball. So that is a difficulty check of 15. It's right in the center of them, so it's going to affect all of them. And it's fire damage of 20 if they fail, 10 if they pass. Uh, it's a dexterity saving? Yeah, dexterity DC of 15. Okay, okay 
one fails. So how much damage is that for failing? 20. Okay. This is... This is fun. Yeah, that's oh. less than... It's 8d6. <laughs> um... Okay, so uh, number three is going to do a saving throw. Okay, he did a 16. So he takes half damage. He takes 10. Okay. Then number two is going to do a saving throw. He got a two, so he is 20. Let's see. That's why they call him number two. Number four is a seven. That's 20. So there's one guy left alive. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I look over in horror at Bofus and say, you're a scarist. <laughs> and I say to the other <laughs> side, I can't beat him, kill him. <laughs> oh, so I killed that one. Okay. <laughs> so next up is Daladar. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to run up to this one, and I'm going to raise my sword. my, uh, And I'm actually going to flip it around and hit him with the pommel. Okay. Uh, trying to do non-lethal damage to him. Um... Nine probably misses. Uh, that does miss. And then I'll use a key point to do a flurry of blows. Also non lethal. Mm -hmm. I'll miss. Eight. What was that? Uh, eight? Yeah, that's yeah. a miss. And then the second part is flurry of blows. Also an eight. Got him. Got <laughs> <laughs> <I don't> him. <laughs> You walked up. Do you surrender? This. <laughs> this. You almost hit him with a pommel, and then you almost hit him in the face. Isn't that cool? He's impressed, though. I, He's impressed. Yeah, I look at him and say, like, "Do you surrender?" <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, Lazarus. Uh -huh. All right, then I pull out my new shiny battle axe, oh. and I take a swing at him. Should have never let you buy one. What'd you say? <laughs> Should have never let you buy a battle axe. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, just hit attack. Uh. In the chat. I have. Uh, I am proficient in it, so I do plus two. Or it adds it all automatically. Should I add it all automatically? Okay. Yeah. Oof, that's gonna miss. Ah. Oh. All that build up. Um, that's all you can do. Wait, right? it was intentional. We're just scaring him. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. The wall behind him is almost crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna. It's his turn now. He's gonna look at you guys and go. Aah! And uh. He is going to use his javelin on Dur Dunedain. What's your name? Daladar. Daladar. Stab me with it. He's going to stab you with it. Uh, that's an eight. Oh, miss. Dang. Dang. Ha -ha, how does it feel? Oh! <laughs> uh, both is your turn. Oh, he missed. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm Throw just another gonna, fireball. I'm going to run up here, and I'm going to do my rapier against him. That is a 22 to hit. Oh, man. That's a hit. And uh, 10 damage. That's a death. Hey. Good oh, fight. Both is in with the, <laughs> all the kills today. Ooh, that was good. That was awesome. Um, so you guys defeated these. You want to search their bodies? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so you search, uh, you probably... They have the stone probably... for some reason. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they have all the vaults <laughs> of treasure. Uh, you find five gold, a healing potion, um, some... Uh, and a note that says... Um, two seconds. Da, 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 how, is, about, uh, how about you take the Garloth gold? and Lazare, you take the potion. All right. I I have no need for the gold. I'm already getting paid. It is your tip for a fight well done. Oh, well, I'll accept it then. My well mm -hmm. done fight. Is it just one potion you said? Yes, just one. But if you put it in little potion bottles, it's like eight. Uh, Little, water uh, down. Nip, nip bottles. Sorry, DM. What was the uh, what's the note saying? Uh, the note said Garleth handed off a stone to familiar, um, uh, taking it to mausoleum. Is it is it signed? Signed, Xanathar. Oh. Wow. 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 Um. Okay, so, uh, okay. So, so it let's... seems like these guys had the same information you guys did. Aye. Right. So we're hot on the trail of the stone, except it's kind of turned a little cold, right? Because now we got to play detective with this little key thingy, and we got to find out who's owned it, who made it, etc. Is that what's going on here? It looks like it. It looks like maybe the grave robbers took the rat. Although I do want to finish searching up here just in case. Aye, let's finish um, that. Time. So yeah, you finish searching up here. It's the same thing. It's. Most of these bones have been taken or Aye, gathered. Good. So we found Diddly Squat. I, I guess we go to the guild master and see if he knows who made this key? Yep, or yeah. know of anybody who the local grave robbers are? Oh, you or know, necromancers? Actually, Will, quick question. The door Answer. to the mausoleum, is it open or is it broken open? Broken open. Okay. I, maybe we should go talk to the the grave digger, whoever works here at the graveyard, and see if they know who's been causing trouble around here. Maybe they can point us in the right direction. It's a good idea. Okay. Okay, so you guys spend about five minutes walking around the city of the dead that mm -hmm. this graveyard is called, uh, and you find... Um, Sir Ambrose Everdon, whom you kind of frighten because this place is supposed to be locked, um, because approaching dusk, and he says, "Oh, what are you doing here in the city of the dead?" Well, we were uh, somebody hired us to retrieve their property from their mausoleum, and it turns out there were grave robbers already there before us, so we're looking for them. Do you know who it is that could have been snooping around here lately? Uh, he, like, puts his hand on his sword. He goes, how do I know you're not the grave robbers? Uh, can I roll a persuasion check to persuade him that we are good guys and we're after the bad guys? Uh, yes, you can. That is a 14. What do you say? I say, listen, we're not after to steal anything or disturb the dead. We were hired by this family to check on their mausoleum and retrieve something from it. But by the time we got there, the door had already been beaten down, and there were grave robbers who'd been there recently, and we were ambushed our own way on the way out. We're here for one thing and one thing only, that we have permission to retrieve. We're not grave robbers. We only seek those who are robbing graves. He, like, slowly puts the sword away and goes, Okay, I guess you would have all the stuff with you if you were robbing it. Uh, and he says he doesn't know if anyone specific uh, robbed would rob the area, but he knows of a local necromancer supposedly hiding out. Um, Necromancy. Hiding out in the area, and he sends people to steal bones for him so he can reanimate skeletons. Um, he thinks with some of the their squatters in a local um, windmill, converted windmill, and he thinks they might be hanging out there. That sounds like our man. We did have a lot of missing bones. Mm -hmm. 
and, uh, and these are the grave right. robbers, not the necromancer. He doesn't know where the necromancer is. Oh, okay. But uh, he, he yeah, thinks. He uh, do you mention the key to him? Um, no. Yeah, I'll show him this and see yeah. if he knows anyone so he who would have made this. He holds up and spins it, and he's like, hmm. Looks like uh, EU. That's probably uh, Alas Bra Ulmar's work uh, over in the Trades Ward if you want to know any more information. And he hands the key back to you. Mm. I say we we go to this windmill, we rough up the gravedigger, see what they can tell us, and if we don't get enough leads there, then we track down this Elmar. Sounds like a plan to me. Aye. Hey. I guess at the very least, the grave dig or the uh, yeah, the grave robbers would know where the key is because they dropped it, right? We're Aye. assuming the necromancer wasn't there. Hi. Okay. Okay. So you guys are headed out to the windmill. Uh, he lets you know it's in the. He thinks it's in the southern ward. So after a bit of searching and hiking, uh, it's well into the evening now, probably eight or nine. Um, you find upon like a lonish hill a converted windmill. Hmm. Let me just get y'all over here. Uh, I am gonna go get a seltzer mm -hmm. and use the bathroom. Yeah, this is probably a good good space for a break. So we're gonna take uh, sure. a break real quick. We'll be right back, folks.
All right, everybody, we are back. It's, uh, we're just outside of a converted windmill, presumably about to kick some ass. Let's do it. Presumably. All right, I'm here. Perfect. Good. Ugh. Let's do it. What do you guys want to do? Um, so I say in front of you is an old, old windmill. It's a crumbling two-story building with a windmill long before the city rose up around it. Um, it's very tall, old. It's crumbling, in case you didn't hear that part. Mm. Um, there's three doors in front of you as well. I Okay, folks, I have a bit of a... I don't think these grave robbers are going to put up much of a fight, to be honest with you, as long as we're intimidating. I think we kick down the front door, we yell and scream, and we demand back what was taken from the mausoleum. See what happens. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, it's Most graveyard robbers I've run into yeah, have been we... cowards. I think you used up all your intimidation on those uh, Drugers <laughs> earlier, but. Well, I may have a little bit more in the tank. <laughs> Alright, so, Will, the plan is we're gonna go to whatever looks like the front door, like the most used door. And we're just gonna literally kick it down and start screaming. Okay. Uh, so it's probably this door right here. Okay. Uh, looks like the most used. Okay. Followed by this one and this one over here, the least. Okay. <clears throat> so you want to roll a uh, strength check to kick down this door? Ooh, which of us is the strongest? It's not me. N none of us. We are all very weak. I'm at, mm -hmm. I'm at negative think... one. Also. Um, I think I'm at Zero. I'm at zero. All right. So maybe you kick, and then I'll I'll do like an intimidation yell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I can I help with the kick? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like you're no, pushing wait. them. Yeah. No, I'm just like Are I'm also both? kicking. Yeah, you both kicking. Like I'm just trying kick. to give the both gonna kick the same door at the same time. Yes. yes. I'm using trying to use the help action. Uh, to try to help. help. Will, what was the name of the lady's family again? Grim um, Griswold. Garloth. 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 Look, can I? Can I? We might be able to make the kick a little easier. Can I unlock the door with the key? Uh, oh yeah, try that key. The neither of these doors. Well, you don't know if the doors. Can I stealthily try to see if the door's locked? Uh, which door? The main door. Uh, it is yeah. unlocked. Yeah. So let's just I'm gonna, uh, burst it, it open. Yeah, I'm, well, I will put it slightly ajar and then kick it open. It'll look cool. Yeah. True, uh, it'll look cool. Actually, I'll help by holding the handle while she kicks it. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> that works. We're bursting through the door. Whatever happens. Yeah. <laughs> the door is unlocked and we can open it. We're bursting through the door. <laughs> okay. They're look they're looking at us through the windows like, what the hell are they doing? You <laughs> burst <laughs> You burst through this door. And I say, I wanna do an intimidation check and I wanna say We want what was stolen from the Garwald Mausoleum. I forgot the lady's name. Immediately. Garla. Garla we want what was stolen from the Garloth Mausoleum. Hand it over and you'll have no trouble from us. I'm gonna so roll. So you open the door. Okay. Roll intimidation. Nineteen. Okay. So you see in this room four dirty commoners huddle around a fire, and they all turn, and they're like, "What? <laughs> grave robbers? We know you took things. We want them back. We're not grave robbers. We're squatters. The grave robbers live upstairs in the locked apartment." Show us the door. Uh, so he comes outside and shows you this other door over here, kind of pushes it open, and says, "If you go in that way, there's just some stairs there." Can I just roll insight real quick to make sure they're on the up and up? Yeah. Ten. Um, you don't think normal people would choose to live the way they do? 
they look like gross and smelly. Maybe that's their uh, fetish. Don't kink shame, Will. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're rich people who just meet here on the weekend. We'll go to <laughs> close their door. <laughs> go to close their door and I'll just shout at them, figure it out. You gotta close their door and one of the hinges is broken because you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna toss them, I wanna toss them a gold piece. Okay, they all start fighting over it. Yeah, start pulling <laughs> out daggers that. and killing each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I toss them like four gold pieces, however many there are. Okay. The other guys in the other room start coming. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is why we have to kill the homeless. <laughs> well, <laughs> the um, okay, I think I think I turn to the others and I say, to be quite frank with you all, Wrong door, but it worked quite well. I say we do the same thing on this one. <laughs> well, they're we on the second the floor. Already. Yes, I think we head yeah. to the top of the stairs. He said there's a locked door, so I think we bust through the locked door. After we unlock it. Aye. Right. Okay. Alright. All right. That's the plan, Will. Okay, so you guys head inside. Um, move up this way to the stairs. It's nice that the grave robbers just oh. share their hideout with homeless people. Some nice I stairs. mean, it really is. Um, give me two seconds. I gotta move you guys to. Oh, I'm on the stairs, though. Right here. No, to the. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Floor. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't like to be picked up. So this door right here is the locked door. Okay. I mean, it looks. And these other two are. I would. I would say they're just open. And yeah. They're just like old, dusty rooms. Got it. Can we? Can uh, we? Are they dead end rooms? Not really, but um, they're empty. This room over here leads to another room, uh, but yeah. uh, when you start to step into the room, like the floor is really creaking, so you don't got gotcha. to continue that mm. way. All right, and I say same plan as last time. We pick the door, burst through, and scream at him. Mm -hmm. What's this thing in the middle here? Or is that the wind, like the mill? Yeah, that's the mill. Okay, fancy. Okay. Yeah, maybe check check if it's unlocked first, kind of quietly. Okay. Uh, the door is locked. I'll try the key on it. Uh, the key fits. <gasps> these are the these are the guys. Yeah, and I'll unlock it and just hold it open while Lazarus or but Lazarus both just kicks it open. Okay. Two yeah, let's do a double kick. Turn this mm -hmm. music. Uh, okay, so you yep. double kick the door open. Yeah. Inside are two Aluskan human commoners, male, and they like are both in. They're <clears throat> both in this bed. Oh. They're best of friends. No, one's <laughs> underneath the covers. One's on top of the covers. Uh, as friends do. Pizza Not face. That if oh. friends, very, I'm against. Very We're curious sorry. where this is going. <laughs> But they both, sorry, for a second I thought there were two beds in there and I already started the, the conversation in my head. <laughs> Anyways, they both like wake up really fast and like huddle against the the backboard like scared. Uh -huh. They're like, oh, take whatever you want. It's noon, why are you asleep? It's Where? not noon. <laughs> it's like Where, are the items? Where are the items you stole from the mausoleum? The, what? We didn't, what? No. We didn't steal anything from the Garloth mausoleum. I didn't say the name. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, listen, we don't have it anymore. Um, we, that necromancer just hired us to steal bones. Did you find anything else there? Um, well, there was this, like, weird stone thing. Losser said it was probably magical, so we just gave it to him. Who? He gave us, like, ten extra gold for it. Losser? Losser Merklov. He, uh... The necromancer? He's the necromancer who hired us. Where is he? Um, uh, Where does he he's live? In, uh, he's in those sewers, the cellar. Uh, it's underneath that, that wig shop. The, um, what's it called? I don't remember. Um, it's, it's the dandy mops over in the trade ward. Hi. Let me be clear about something. If you've lied to us or misled us in any way, We'll come back and kill you. Oh, okay. Now straighten up and fly right. No more grave robbing for either of you. Yeah, we're just friends. 
<laughs> and neither of that stuff either. And it's cold in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go in and just kick their shovel in half. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I'll put an end to it. Back to using me hands! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I guess we're going to the wig shop. I guess you are. Uh, you don't want to ask them about um, EU? Well, it worked in the door, right? So I guess we just assumed... right. It was to this. It was to this room. Yeah, we just assumed they dropped their key. Yeah, I'll throw the key back on their bed. My key. Uh, how we, okay. How, how, how we you guys? Doing? Uh, just just quick quick check. How we doing, Will? Are we not that we have to stop now, but uh, in terms of where you're thinking about breaking for this session? Uh, you guys, <clears throat> I was thinking of breaking. Sorry. So the thing with this chapter, it's like a choose your own adventure, which is cool. Mm -hmm. But also, I have to flip through a lot of pages. Mm -hmm. So Wizards of the Coast, get your crap together. Mm -hmm. Um. So. So we're probably halfway. Mm -hmm. Maybe through, yeah. Why, how much longer do you want to go for? Uh, no, we can keep going. Uh, you want to just go to the top of the hour? Yeah, that oh. works. Yeah, we can stop wherever. This this is like a whole like chain of events thing, so we can stop put a pin whenever. in it whenever. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, let's just go to three. You, yeah, you gotta get your, uh, I can't think of something funny that you have to do at 3 o'clock. I have... I have... <laughs> <laughs> Your breast implants. No, I was going to say I have my menses penciled in for 3 p.m. <laughs> oh, boy. Classic. That's funny. Okay, folks, we just got canceled, so... Uh... Okay, you guys, sorry, I'm trying to find this <clears throat> thing. So you guys head over to Dolly Mops. Mm -hmm. Dolly Lama the Necromancer. Got it. Yes, Dolly Lama the Necromancer. Um, it is in the trade ward. It's, it's much quieter now. There's still people around. Um, so the... Uh, the wig shop is obviously closed. Mm -hmm. um, you're just kind of hanging out outside of it. That's where we're at. Hmm. Can you look around and see if there's a uh, cellar door? Hi, my thoughts exactly. Um, there is no cellar door. You would think it's inside the access, cellar access. Hmm. Time for a beanie. Breakfast and emergencies. Mm-hmm. Let's right. do it. Yeah, let's go get breakfast. We'll come back when we have a plan. <laughs> you know, we are on official police business, so let's do it. Okay. Elder, you want to try climbing up on the roof again? Uh, we could, but he did, did he say he was on the second floor or in the basement? I think it was in the cellars. It's the already. cellar access. Oh, this, okay, so it would be somewhere on the first floor we have to go? Yeah. I would assume, does he... Did he say he owned the shop, or he just rents he the just, place below? Yeah, he said that's how they get down there. Is through oh, the. Got it. Okay. So I would assume. I don't know, but I would assume like people in the shop are normal, and it's just him in the basement who's a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. So Ooh. we just break in and make a beeline for the cellar. I leave the store alone. Okay. I will. I'm gonna take a wig though. Uh, so you want to do some thieves tools on that front door? Yeah. Have them, those two kind of stand with their backs to me, covering me. Okay. Yeah, standing so, watch. Uh, just make me a uh, sleight of hand roll. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is it a, it's the glass door? Or like, does it have a window pane? 
Uh, no, it's like a, a wooden iron door. Uh, what about, is there a shop window? Yeah, there's a big ornate shop window that says Dampy Mops. Yeah. I'm gonna guess, uh, I'm gonna guess uh, you failed. And then underneath it, okay. it said, this window donated by the children, Children's Hospital for making kids better. I, um... It, Made from our tears. Please yeah. do not break. I'm gonna I'm gonna cough and flash my hand out, and the window breaks. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says extra breaking glass. No. Uh, okay, so you cough. You hit the side of the window. One of the little panes breaks out. You reach your hand in. Oh, unlock the door, and you guys are in business. Nice. nice. So you, go, you go into the shop. It's terrifying because it's a wig shop. Uh, but you find the basement cellar door. And uh, you head down into the basement. Okay. You find yourselves at a, yet another locked door. Oh, maybe that key was to this door, too. <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, you want to try and pick it again? Yeah, I'm so good at that. Oh, man. Can you imagine if this was like Skyrim? Skyrim, where you had lock picks that were expendable. Breakable. I yeah. love Skyrim lock picking. It's it's, so it's good. not it's good as a mini game. I just hated that it was like, oh, I'm out of lock picks. Oh no. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I liked the uh, the Oblivion lock picking. I like that a lot. Oh, with the oh, oh, that's, that's, a that's a nat that twenty. Good. Damn. Yeah. Oh man, Splinter Cell had something like that too. Uh, your good. lock pick has um, become the key for that door. <laughs> Yeah, for, for forever. <laughs> Actually, you should have. Don't they? They have those magic lockpicks that just turn into the keys, don't they? I think they do. Yeah, they're called keys. I hate you so much. It's also knock. Yes. You know, but lockpick of knock. Okay. That... Door is open. Bump and bump, 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 bump. Uh, as soon as you open the door, raw sewage fills your nostrils. Good. Um, above the door, uh, it says sewer access authorized city officials only. Oh. Um, well, we're unauthorized city before? officials. Sorry. Yep. You know what? This chapter sucks. I hate it. It's actually really good. It's just the way they wrote it. It really annoys me. Um, fresh sewage flows along the trough that runs parallel, parallel to the stone walkway. Ooh, I put Karen in this. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Great. <laughs> That's where you belong. Uh, the sewage, you can wow. tell, is probably about three foot deep. Um, it's so like up to your guys' necks. I think I'm only uh, three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> you're not in the sewage. You're on the walkway next to the sewage. Just to be clear. Uh, how long I last. I am three feet tall. Just to be clear. I'm three foot seven. Oh, okay. So you may so be my able to face, breathe. My face would just be above it. Yeah, just stand on her shoulder. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're funny. You're funny. You're funny, man. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Um, is it dark? It is pitch black. I can't see. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do that in kids. I can't see. <laughs> oh, I can see. I can see. Sounds like a you problem. How about I just follow you folks for a while? You can light up a torch if you want. Or do you want... Do we want to try to be stealthy? Let's be stealthy. I'll just hold on to your belt loop. Alright. Gross. I'll, I'll... Oh, I have rope if you want to tie, tie well, ropes. I, I prefer holding belt Good loops. Place. Keeps mm -hmm. me close. <laughs> Enemies closer. Yeah, so we'll just move ahead stealthily. Okay, so you guys move ahead stealthily, and you come to a junction. There's nothing that continues on the other way, but it seems you hear at least faint noises and um, other such things coming from this direction. No. But unfortunately, it's only sewage. We um, pretend not to hear it. Do we... Looking at the yeah. walkway. Help, help! The stone of the lore is this way! I have a feeling we are going to have to go down that way. Looking at the walkway, is, are there any muddy footprints? on, Like, muddy footprints on the uh, <laughs> on the walkway coming, like, 
going into and out of this place? Oh, wow. uh, yes, there's a bunch, uh, and they look like, uh, as you know from the Zentarum hideout, they look like Kenku footprint. Oh, good. Uh, so we're we're not here first. No. You gotta hurry, guys. And I um, splish splash. Take. I have a question, real quick. Well, so like necromancers take like dead organic material and reanimate it. Can they do that with with poop? If if somebody a poop monster? Well, not it's with like poop, but what if berries. an animal ate a person and then pooped them out? Yeah, you could do that. Or like you know, like the owls. Uh, like owl has poop has like yeah, rodents you just, in yeah. it. You need the bone. Right, but what what if the bones like shattered? And, like well, eaten? then it would hold the, the little tiny pieces of the bones. But the other thing is, when you eat a whole Ordered. chicken. You toss the bones in the trash, which probably go into the sewer. Cool. Yeah, he can. I don't think he does, but he could have zombie chickens. Yeah, he could. Do you need like, I, five minutes to add that as a monster in the campaign? When on Earth, yeah, died, I mean, we did to her in the garbage. So, <laughs> should this be the cliffhanger of the episode? Whether or not you guys yeah. jump into a thing with the I. I can just cast spider climb and walk, and we can all walk along the ceiling. <laughs> okay, was that all of us? Though there's there's a legitimate problem here though, which is that I cannot, I cannot walk in that sewage. I would swim. have, I would have, have to swim. have tensors floating. Discs? I can cast spider climb on you, and you could just walk along the wall. I think you may have to. I think you're being. Cause I, yeah, because Daladar and I could make it through. <laughs> I don't. But it just will. What kind of like? Is it mostly liquid? Like, can I? Swim let's in just it? say that if you're in it for longer than a minute, you have to make a Constitution saving throw to see if you get infected with sewage plague. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see. That's the thing is, I don't know that I can really swim in it per se. I think <laughs> it's more of a walk. It's thick in enough time. to swim in. Thick enough to swim in? Yeah. That's not what I want to hear. <laughs> it's like the Dead Sea. You kind of like float because it's so salty. Yeah, you can just kind of <laughs> do back here. Lay on your back, and I'll just drag yeah. you. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's well, lay on your it. stomach. It's up to you. Let's do it. I say we just get real noisy and we just boogie down this tunnel. What do you guys think? No one has a freezing spell? Uh. Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Mm. Nope. No, I mean, I just have the. Uh. Nope. Spider climb is probably the most useful thing I can cast. Listen, guys, I'm already in the Oh, poop. well, I... Mm. <laughs> I, I don't think we waste a, a spell slot if we don't have to for spider climb. Yeah. I think we yeah. just carefully wade I mean, through the poop. It's up to you. Let's All do right. it. I'm trudging. I'm trudging. All right. Okay, so you guys trudging. Yes. Why don't you just carry him on your shoulders, Josh? Because uh, I'm not being paid enough for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's too much to ask. Okay, so Ian's swimming. Uh, Ian, it's going to be difficult terrain. Uh, and you need to roll if you swallow any of it in your mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Athletics? Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. So as you're going... Um, What's Josh, this noise we're you hearing? Noticed. That's someone peeing. No, no, I'm sorry. No, but you said there were noises. What's the type of the noises we were hearing? Is oh, clanking, you're just hearing like voices. Um, as you get closer to where um, Daladar is, you hear, "No, I, I, I don't, I don't have it anymore. Please, don't kill me, please." And you hear like, and then skeleton crinking, and then. So, Josh, you notice. Oh man, I drew these in the wrong spot. <clears throat> you notice two question. secret doors uh -huh. that stick out to you. That okay. I'm adjusting. What is your quick question? Well, it's not a question, it's more of an idea. It's like, folks, if if this is the only way in and out, then we could just wait and ambush whoever comes out. I don't. Yeah, but you're probably gonna disintegrate in this poop water. Well, that's why I say we go back. We go back to the. But I don't think this is the only way in and out. Okay, if you've got the sewer, yeah, that's true. Let's let's continue onwards. Okay, two seconds. 
I'm just gonna finish. Um, Karen, come back. Don't go that far. Bump. Sorry, I gotta fix this wall. Um, okay, so Josh, you noticed two secret doors, one to your left and one to your right, that, um, look like they were supposed to, like, like any secret door does, but they're just super obvious to you because mm -hmm. of your incredible perception skills. I'm a master reduction. Um, uh, yeah, I'll walk over to, I'll point out the secret doors and then walk over to one and peer into the one on the right. One, this one? Yeah. Okay, so you crack this one open, and as you peer through, you see three Kenku um, being held off by two skeletons, and behind the two skeletons, huddled right next to the door, is um, is what looks like was probably the, is probably the necromancer. What? He's mean, alive. He's dead. Here, so let me pop you in here so you can see everything. Uh, and he's alive. He's just being like, he's like, go now. You have it. Go. And uh, he's, he's saying yelling. to, he's yelling to the Kenko, go now. You have it. Go. Yeah. All right. And they are advancing. And there's two skeletons that are already dead on the ground. Um, am I aware of this uh, as well? Yeah, yeah I'm assuming you swam up and you're holding on. Yeah, yeah. And so I say to Daladar <laughs> and Lazare, I say, is it time for another bit of fireball? Uh, uh, I think you're highly flammable right now. Yeah. Oh, the methane. Oh, and... I'm not looking forward to that smell. Fair point. Let's get in there and fight. Or we wait I... for them to kill each other. <laughs> I'd say we try to get the... Uh... Necromancer on our side, at least for the, this fight. I will say, Josh, further down, you do see another door that looks like it might enter this area. Yeah. Uh, I, I do have... I've cast it before. I do have Charm Person. Ooh, that would be... You, you could you could Charm Person him before he even sees us. Yeah. And then we go in and just say, if you want to live, uh, yeah. help us defeat the Kenku. I, so can I... Or will I want to talk to the necromancer, but I don't want to be seen by the others. Can I stealth up to him and whisper? whisper? Yeah. So every everyone's uh, facing away from you right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And the necromancer is huddled in the corner. So if you came in through the secret door, yeah, no one would really see you. <clears throat> Can I just especially do that? since you're tiny, tiny? So just roll a stealth check for me. Okay, stealth check coming in. 17. Nice. So you stealth right up to Mr. Necromancer here. Okay. And then I'm going to attempt to cast. Well, let me read Charm Berserker. Uh, okay. I'm going to cast Charm Person on him. He needs to make a DC 13, wisdom 13 check. Uh, you charm him. Okay, and I say, we're here to help you. Now tell us, where's the stone? And so he kind of looks at you and his eyes go wide. He goes, you're here to help me. I gave the stone to one of the Kenku. They've left. Which Kenku? <clears throat> the one who left already. Where? Did, which direction did he go? He went south, past these other Kenku. So, okay. And then you say, how is he leaving the sewers? Through uh, another cellar. Okay. And we just want to run past these guys. <laughs> We could uh, sneak past them through the 
to the other door. door. And then I and then I say, well, do you know? Do you know where he's heading? Um, let me see if he does know that. Why don't Daladar? Oh no, no, uh, I don't know out. where he's going. They just came down here and stole it from me. Okay. Well, Tell I think they're going through this passageway. Yeah. That, yeah. That's that's where he. That's where the Kenku went. So so I say. Finally, I say, keep your skeletons fighting the Kenku, but make sure they don't attack us. And he says, okay, I'll summon the rest. And behind <laughs> behind you, Daladar, this secret door opens. Mm-hmm. And oh, we get all these boys. They're all friendly to us, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they can move through our space and vice versa, I think, right? Nice. So all these guys start coming in. You should have opened with this. So I turn to the others and I say, he's on our side. Don't attack the skeletons. They'll help us. But we have to get the Kanku, especially the one that's running away. I think we go through the other door further down the corridor and burst through and try and cut him off. Yeah, sounds like a plan. I kind of I kind of want to just run through this way. Just go straight, straight through this room. Uh, wouldn't we get opportunity attacks from the Kanku? Uh, I would, but you guys wouldn't. Wait, why wouldn't we? Uh, because they only have one reaction. Oh, so if we all do it. And I can kind of make myself harder to hit for him. Yeah. But where are you going? Because we can't occupy... Uh, Can we occupy the same space as a friendly? Yeah. You just can't end your turn there. Oh, but that's what I mean, is where are you going to end your turn? Uh, so I can go one, Maybe on the two, stairs? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and my turn end here. Or actually, I could end here. There's a guy there. In this space? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could end here, or here if there's no way. Okay. I like that plan. I, I mean, you can also end wherever you want, because you can just, the skeleton will move. Oh, he will? Yeah, yeah. quote unquote. Okay. Move. Yeah, so why don't we do that then? Okay. Okay, so Josh, you're running through? Yeah, I'm going to just barrel through. Um, As I'm running past, I'm going to use my weapon to attack this Kenku. Okay, so I'll put you here. Um, So you want to attack the Kenku. Uh, Ten slashing damage, 19 to hit. Oh man, he's dead. Nicely done. Uh, and then. And then I guess we just follow so right as, behind. As you reach these stairs in the next room, there's another Kenku, um, and a gazer, which you know is what Xanathar uses to look around the city from his hideout. Mm. And we're heading up these stairs here, uh, which is around this corner. Uh, you just see the tail end of another Kenku running up that way. So you think that's probably the one with the stone. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to... He's going upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll end my turn kind of there. Okay. Um, so I... Shout. I, see, I see him. Yeah, I'm not going to put you guys in combat because it's too much to yeah take care yeah. of right now you have them to, like attack me though if you want um i mean they're pretty chuffed up with the all right skellies right now I won't um you. okay so who's coming through next um i guess i'll go next so let me just do f- five ten mm-hmm. fifteen I can dash for twice my speed, right? Yeah. 15, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Is, 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 you know what? Let me just get to, let me get to here and then I'll reassess. Okay. Wait, he's going around this way? Yeah, this side. That's and side and this is a wall right here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me just start moving. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30. Can I, can I end here and you said you'll move the skeleton? Yeah. 30. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and attack this Kenku. Okay, go for it. With... Um, so I was just looking at my... And just Karen, do... think about what you're going to do next. Right, yeah. That is a 21 to hit for 4 damage. Nice, good hit. So you like run into the room and just like thrust forward. And he goes like... Aah! It's pretty cool. Nice. Okay, uh, that's okay. my turn. Lazary, you're up. Uh, I'm going to take the same route, but kind of stop at the top of the stairs. Okay. So right before. And that Kenku's still there, right? He's still trying to run? Uh, no, he's he's defending. The one who's running already went up the stairs. Okay. Um, but, I mean, we might as well get rid of this guy. Yeah. There's also um, a gazer over here as well. Oh, uh, there's a gazer? Where? Oh, I couldn't see him. Um, can I attack the gazer from here? Yeah, I'd say if you're like on the top of the stairs. Okay, I'm gonna. The bottom of the stairs, you can see him. I'm gonna try to throw a dagger at it. Okay. Throw that dagger. Ah. <sighs> That was a that was a natural one. No, can you uh can you roll a D one hundred for me? Not so bad. Okay, so you throw the knife uh and it flies past the gazer and hits a skeleton and kills the skeleton. Oh no. Uh, so now it is back to Josh's turn. Maybe I slipped on some of Bofus's uh, ooze. Uh, ooze no. his, the, mm -hmm. the mud that he left at the top of the steps. That he and uh, Daladar left. Uh, uh, yeah, Daladar. Yeah, I'm gonna run and chase the Kanko up the stairs. Okay, these guys are distracted enough that you do that. Uh, Bofus? Look, uh, do I see him up there? Uh, I, I was going to get you guys all out of the cellar. Oh, uh, okay. And then uh, I'll move, um, up, move to up there. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave, which is a 15-foot cube, and I'm going to put it uh, like here-ish. Well, let me, let me ask you a question. You know, like when we're in combat with allies and we accidentally hit them they don't turn hostile if I, if we accidentally no. hit these skeletons are they going to turn hostile no okay so i'm going to cast thunder wave and i'm casting it as a second level spell if you hit the um necromancer his charm would end but that's about it yeah he's all the way over there okay yeah got it so that is a cast let me pull it up so that is thunder wave you need to make a constitution saving throw 13, um, and it's okay, 19 the... damage. Gazer did a 19, and Kenku did an 18. Okay, so uh, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed, so they each take 9 damage. And they're both dead. Nice. And all the skeletons. Uh, aren't skeletons dead? Well, you'd have well, to roll probably. for them. Yeah, I'm not going to. There's a skeleton. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna move because that was just my attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move. People, pop, pop, bibbidi pop, bam, right up there with Josh. Okay. Boom. Oh, yeah, I also I also wanted to dash well just so I could catch up to wherever he was once we're up there. Copy. Uh, Lazary, you're you're up. You want to uh, run? I, yeah, I'm just gonna run well? fast. 
Okay. Before they realize what just happened. <clears throat> um, so you guys burst up these stairs through like a cellar, like a bulkhead door, um, into a back alley, and <clears throat> Josh, you're up out ahead, and you see them, the Kenku, tearing down the street into a crowd. Um, he's maybe about five, six paces ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to chase him? Um, yeah, if he's that close, I'm, if I have like a turn, I was going to run up and just try to kill him. Okay. Before he gets any farther away. Uh, yeah, so I'll use a Naginata attack. Okay, so you, uh, are chasing after him so he's um you're not are you throwing something or are you no no that you said he was like a couple paces in front of me no so he's like sorry i meant like he's like six um not paces but like not turns but like dashes ahead of you so like you have dash, dash ahead of him oh um so how many feet He's would you down start? the alleyway. It's probably like 60 feet, 75 feet. Um, in that case, I'll run up and then use a bonus action to dash. Okay. Using a key point so I can catch up to him and then I'll attack him. Okay. Um, so 13 to hit and 8 slashing damage. 13 to hit, 8 slashing damage. Uh, two seconds. I lost my Kenku. You go. Uh, that's a hit. Okay, so you hit him, and obviously hit him pretty good. Is um, he, he's still up. Yeah, he's still up. Though. Um. Yeah, and then that'll be my turn. I'll just stay there. Okay. Um. E, uh, not Ian Bofus. Yes, I um. You know, I'm going to dash and try and get as close to him as possible, but i it sounds like I'm still not going to be quite close enough, right? Or, well, sorry. How far away is he in feet? Uh, he is 60 feet away from you. Okay. So, I would like to... He's 60 feet away from me. Yes. How crowded is this street? Uh, he, you guys are in a back alley. He's almost to the street. Him and him and John. Is there Daladar? Oh, but Daladar's next to him, right? Yes. Okay. I would like to take out my crossbow and fire it at them. Fire it at him. Them. But just him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say which him, but I'm gonna fire it at him. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. All right. You wanna roll? Yes. Daddy rolled. That's nice. a nat 20 to hit. Oof. Okay, you fire that crossbow. It sl goes through the Kenku's head. The Kenku falls forward. And you watch. Hits the ground. The stone yep. launches <gasps> out oh. of his pocket. No! And lands in the middle of the street. <sighs> and I just gotta say... That's really good that I was a creek because you just shot into a crowd. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dalar, you see the stone bounce on the cobblestones? Yeah. And you, you're looking at it like the beginning of Temple of Doom with the antidote. And yep. you just see a carriage go by and then it's gone. And you look <sighs> and you just see like, uh, like street urchins, like the kids just running with it down the street. No! Jesus, the kids! Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, I guess we're after them kids now. Oh, no. They're not getting away. Okay, so, um, you're gonna start going after these kids? Yeah. Okay, so, um, I will let Karen and, uh, Lazary and Bofus, you kind of catch up with Daladar as this whole thing's playing out. Okay. And so... Uh, Dalar, you can let them know what you saw. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw a kid pick it up and start running away, and I point him out to him, and then take out, take off after him. 
Um, okay. Can we still see them? Yes. How far away are they? <laughs> They're probably like 60 feet now. Can I cast a spell? If you'd like. I want to cast sleep. Fireball. Sleep at second level. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, let me cast it. I was just going to shotgun some coins at him. <laughs> oh, whoops. Let me, uh... Ian posting the entire spell. <laughs> it's important to know. He did it oh, twice. It's, it's supposed to. It's really okay, important wait. <laughs> I did it a third time. It's supposed to just roll it. Okay. So I'm going to roll <laughs> uh, additional 2d8. So I'm going to roll 7d8. Slash roll. 78, and that's how many 24 hit points worth of people fall asleep starting with the person with the most hit points. This is some super villain type things that you see happening <laughs> in the street. So I cast Because commoners have like two hit points. Yeah, I cast it on this group of like street urchin, urchins. Wait, it's, so wait, it's 90 feet, 20 feet. So uh, That's, I think I, 90 foot range, 20 yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, it's a 20 foot, 20 foot point. sphere. Yeah. Of a point you choose oh, within range. Within 90. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it's so, the radius. Yeah. Um, you see three of these kids just fall. <laughs> just hit the ground. The fourth, like, turns, sees them, sees you down the street, like, clearly looking at them, and he just keeps on booking it. It's a tough kid. Is he the one that has the stone? Or do we not know? You, you're not sure. Daladar, right. well, after I'm... him. We'll check the others. Yeah. I'm going to triple dash after him. Okay, so you triple dash after him. Uh, you guys reach the bodies. <laughs> These children. I always say, take care of the bodies. <laughs> woken up by people, and you don't you don't see them having anything. The kids like kind of look up at you guys and start to scatter. Um, and the kid who, was, who kept booking it, you see run into a little gated area that leads into what looks to be an old tower. Yeah, I'm fully just. I'm. I think it's uh, going 135 feet after him. Gee. So you reached the old tower way before, um, way before the kid. No, way before uh, Lazary and Bofus. And you mm-hmm. see, there's a couple kids playing outside, and then you see the kid running up to it, the tower. And he turns around and like waves at you in like a snarky kid sort of way because he knows he has your thing. And mm-hmm. a Kenku hand reaches out from the doorway and grabs him and pulls him inside. <gasps> and the door slams closed. Um, I is that, that feels like a good stopping point for today, to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh. <laughs> you let him get that? away. Hey, the kid got what he deserved. That is like the best chase scene I've ever had in D D. That was a real good mm-hmm. chase scene. I like it. Thank you. Um, well, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys so much for joining. In two weeks' time, we have the final episode of Waterdeep Dragon Heist. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, quick question. We're level four. Should we level up before then? Um, yeah, if you guys want to hit level... Yeah, level up to five. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have leveled up characters. We'll finish this story out. Quite a cliffhanger. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Josh... Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me here. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> uh, Karen, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on here. And you can also sometimes find me on uh, Spooky Pixel in the background, telling Will what to do and to stop being a baby mm-hmm. um, and cheering him on. Yeah. Great. And Will, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Um, also surviving uh, on other things on our on our channel as well. So and you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And you can find all of our subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel where we have both stream archives as well as edited content, including a brand new video that went up just six days ago from Jake about the scary, spooky stuff within Alien Isolation. Uh, you can also find us on Twitch, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Subpixel Team. Uh, we like to post about projects we're on, new videos coming out, tease new streams, and then also stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Our next stream coming up Tuesday night, No Man's Sky. 
We're heading back in, folks. We're getting close to wrapping up the season of the Sandbox, but there's still plenty more to enjoy in that game. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.